Good day. So, ito po yung paano, bagong videos natin. Uh, ang topic po natin ngayon, common na mga questions na lumalabas sa isang mathematics civil service exam. So, this is part 1. So, ang part 1, meron na tayong 11 problems or 11 questions na sasagutan ngayon. So, magandang araw. So, ako po si Engineer Melvin John Habla Bansuelo. So, again, ito po ay uh, free lecture videos. Hatid po sa inyo ng MC Squared Coaching Center. So, huwag kalimutan pong mag-subscribe para every time may bago po tayong lecture, ma-notify po tayo. So, okay? So, ating simulan. So, problem number one, complete the number series, two, uh, 675, 430, 475, 630, blank and blank. So, titignan natin mabuti yung given na uh, series po class. Pansinin niyo may similarity yung uh, first term at saka yung third term at saka yung second term at ng fourth term. Now, kung itatry natin bawa si 675 at saka sa 475, may difference na 200. Ito naman class, may difference din na 200 pero nadagdag. Ito na bawas. Okay? So, therefore, the rule... You have n minus 200, ibig sabihin, ito siya, the first and the third term, nagbawas ng 200. So, 675 minus 200, kaya naging 475. So, therefore, itong next term na ito, ng blank term na ito, ito yung base natin. Since minus 200, so 475 minus 200, ang may iwan dito is 275. Ito naman, Yung next naman is may rule na n plus 200. So, 430 plus 200 kaya naging 630. So, itong second term at fourth term na may difference sa 200 pero nadagdagan. Okay? So, therefore, 630 plus 200 dito po class is 830. So, again, dito 275, dito is 830. Saan po yan sa choices? And it's very obvious po yung sagot that is letter, letter C. Okay? Marami-rami din ganitong mga questions na usually lumalabas sa isang civil service exam po natin. So, ito naman po tayo. Ito naman po tayo. Problem number 2. Complete the number sequence. 82, 1812, 1118112, and 3118312. And ano yung sunod? Okay. So, itong sequence na ito, class, parang it is a special sequence po sa mathematics. Ito po yung tinatawag natin na, na loop and say sequence. Kung ano yung nakita, sabihin lang po natin. So, tingnan natin. Yung first term po natin is 82. So, paano po natin makukuha yung second term galing sa first term? So, ano yung nakikita natin? Isang 8 at saka isang 2. So, therefore, 1 8, ayun, isang 8. At saka isang 2. Kaya nga yung sinabi natin, look and say sequence. Isang 8 at saka isang 2. Ito na po yung siya class. Isang 8 at saka isang 2. 1, 8 and 1, 2. Next, for the third term. Nakikita natin isang 1. So therefore, 1, 1. Nakikita natin na isang 8. Kaya 1, 8. Nakikita natin na isang 1. 1, 1. At nakikita natin isang 2. 1, 2. Okay? Isang 1, isang 8, isang 1, at saka isang 2. So, isang 1, 1, 1, 1, 8, 1, 1, and 1, 2. Next, for the fourth term, tatlong 1, kaya we have 3, 1, isang 8, 1, 1, 8, tatlong 1 again, that is 3, 1, tapos isang 2, 1, 2. So, therefore, on the fifth term, you have isang 3, 1, 3, hanapin natin sino may 1, 3, ito siya. 1, 3, 2, 1, ayan po, 2, 1, and then 1, 8, so 1, 8, tapos 1, 3, 1, 3, dalawang 2, uh, dalawang 1, sorry, so kaya we have 2, 1, and then mayroon tayo isang 2, that is 1, 2. So therefore, ang correct answer is letter A. Okay, I hope klaro po yung pagkaka-explain ko. Pero if hindi klaro, pwede nyo po ako i-message po. Okay? Para makapagpibigay pa ako ng mga ibang mga examples. So, yan po yung look and say sequence. Sabihin na po natin kung ano po yung nakikita natin na numero. Yun po. 
Problem number 3 of the following, which is the greatest. So, sa fraction class, yung nasa itaas, yun yung tinatawag natin yung numerator. Yung sa baba, yun po yung tinatawag natin na denominator. Dito, ito yung numerator, ito yung denominator, ito yung numerator, at saka itong denominator, numerator, denominator, numerator, at saka denominator. So, ang tanong, which is the greatest? Sa fraction, para malaman natin yung greatest class, halimbawa, may apat tayo ng fraction, pipil ang pinakamalaki sa apat na yan is yung may pinakamaliit na denominator. So, sa apat nila, ito yung may pinakamaliit na denominator. So, therefore, since siya ang may pinakamaliit na denominator, therefore, siya ang mas malaki. So, the, ang malaki dito, greatest dito is letter, letter A. Kung kabalik tara naman class, pinakamaliit is yung may pinakamalaking denominator. And sa apat, may pinakamalaking denominator si letter D. How about naman class, a given fraction, parehas yung denominator, pero magkaiba yung numerator. So, if ang itanong is, alin doon ang greatest, ang basihan natin is may pinakamalaking numerator. So, numerator ng pagbabasihan natin, if ever, magkaparehas or equal yung denominator nila. So, yun po for problem number 3. Problem number 4. So, problem number 4, 3 fourth of what number is 12? Is it letter A, 12, B, 14, C, 16, D, 18? So, 3 fourth of what number? So, itong number na to ilet natin as X po plus. So, is 12. So, in mathematical expression or equation, ganito po siya pagkasulat. So, 3 fourth, given sa problem, ito yung number na tinatanong is equal to 12. It is equals to 12. So, paano po natin masolve ito? Both sides ng equation natin is i-multiply natin by 4. So, multiplying this by 4, cancel, cancel. So, maiwan na lang is 3x. Multiply by 4, dito equals to 48. So, kaya we have 3x equals to 48. So, x equals to, i-divide natin si 48 by 3. Then, therefore, 48 divided by 3, ang sagot po dyan is 16. So, therefore, ang correct answer sa problem na to, that is letter, ayun, that is letter C. Okay, so, next problem tayo. So, problem number 5, what is the ratio of 1 fourth to 3 fifth? Is it letter A, 3 is to 4, letter B, 5 is to 12, Letter C, 5 is to 4. Letter D, 3 is to 20. So, in ratio form, ito po yung itsura niya. 1 fourth is to 3 fifth. And yung ratio form, pwede natin gawin division. Parang division siya. So, kung titignan natin, magiging 1 fourth divided by 3 fifth. And if we divide in two fraction, Ang mangyayari niya, ang itsura niyan, magiging multiplication siya, pero yung nasa denominator ng fraction, magre-reverse, or kumbaga magiging reciprocal. So therefore, magiging 1 fourth times 5 over 3. Tandaan, yung nasa baba, magiging reciprocal. So i-multiply na lang natin itong dalawa, 1 times 5, so sa baba, 4 times 3. So ang sagot, you have 5 over 12 or 5 is to 12. Saan galing ang 5? 1 times 5. Saan galing ang 12? 4 times 3. Okay? So, yun po yung para sa problem number 5. Ang sagot is letter B, that is 5 is to 12. So, problem 6 na po tayo. 1 and 1 fourth. This is an example of a mixed fraction. Subtracted from its reciprocal is letter A, 9 over 20. Letter B, negative 9 over 20. Letter C, negative 1 over 5. Letter D, 1 over 5. So, 1, 1 fourth, yan po si 1 in 1 fourth, para gawin natin uh, improper fraction. Yung improper fraction po, mas malaki po yung numerator kumpara sa denominator. Ito, this is an example of a, of a uh, mixed fraction. So, paano siya maging improper? Ito lang po, 4 times 1, ito dito mag a tayo, plus 1. So therefore, 4 times 1, that is 4, plus 1, that is 5. So therefore, 1, 1 fourth 
equals to 5 over 4. So, ito daw yung ibabawa sa kanyang reciprocal. Ano nga ba yung reciprocal niya? Ang reciprocal, pagbabalik ta rin lang natin yung numerator at saka denominator. So, yung reciprocal niya is 4 over 5 or 4 fifth. So, ang sabi sa problem, 1 1 4 subtracted from is reciprocal. So, therefore, 4 fifth minus 5 over 4. So, ayan po siya, 4 fifth o minus 5 over 4. Ang common po natin na alam sa operation sa fraction is kukunin natin yung least common divisor ng denominator. Pero ang magandang technique dito is gagamit tayo ng cross multiplication. So ano ba ibig sabihin ng cross multiplication? Yung denominator na yung isa, i-multiply natin sa numerator ng isa. Ganon din sa kabila, denominator to numerator. So yan siya, 4 times 4. Minus, minus kasi, minus naman po ito, 5 times 5. And then, ang sa baba, 5 times 4. So, ayan po siya. So, in result, yan na po, 4 times 4, that is 16. 5 times, minus 5 times 5, that is 25. And then, 5 times 4, that is 20. 16 minus 25, that is negative 9. Tapos, sa baba, is 20. So, ang result, that is negative 9 over 20. Okay, yun. Madali lang. Okay? Pero again, class or sa audience, if may mga tanong, huwag mahiyang mag-message uh, lang sa akin po. Problem number 7. There are two numbers. So, sum is 48. One of the numbers is greater by 6. What are the numbers? Ito, pag ganito yung problem, no need to write equation, no need to solve using equation. Ang gawin lang natin, reverse method. Pag reverse method, titignan natin yung mga values na nasa choices at saka yung values na nasa given. Ang sabi dito sa problem, meron daw tayong dalawang numbers. Kaya ang nasa choices natin, dalawang numbers. Na ang sum daw is 48. So therefore, may eliminate na po natin si letter A class kasi ang sum nito is 47. Hindi po 48. 23 plus 24 that is 47. So hindi na po ansag, hindi na po possible answer si letter A. So may tatlong pagpipilian na lang tayo. Ita try na rin natin si letter B. 21 plus 27 48 siya. So possible sagot si letter B. Try naman natin si letter C. Si letter C 22 plus 26 48 rin. Si letter D 20 plus 28 48 din po siya. Ang isang condition sa problem is 1 of the numbers is greater by 6. Yung isang number is mas malaki ng 6 kumpara sa isang number. So, hindi na po natin isali si letter A sa pagtitest. Proceed na lang tayo kay B, C, at saka D. Alin sa tatlo ang may difference na 6. Let's start with letter A. 27 minus 21, that is 6. Si letter C, 26 minus 22, that is 4. Si letter D, 28 minus 20 equals to 8. And according sa problem, two numbers na may sum na 48 and yung isang number is greater by 6 and sa tatlo nila, si letter B po yung nag-satisfy sa condition sa problem. Therefore, ang correct answer po is letter, ayun, that is letter B. So, problem number 8 na tayo. Problem number 8, if 2 tablespoons equals to 1 liquid ounce and 5 tablespoons equals 1 fourth cup, then how many liquid ounces are there in 1 cup? Is it letter A, 4, letter B, 8, letter C, 16, letter D, 24, letter E, none of the above. So, sabi sa problem, how many liquid ounces are there in 1 cup? Tandaan po, class, given po natin is 5 tablespoons equals to 1 fourth cup. So, itong, ito yung keywords natin, 1 cup. So, para makakuha tayo ng 1 cup, you multiply natin ito ng 4. Kung mag-multiply tayo ng 4 dito, multiply din tayo ng 4 dito sa kabila. Okay, so yan na po siya. Kaya we have 4 times 5 tablespoons equals to 1 fourth cup. And if we multiply 4, maging 20 tablespoons equals to 1 cup. So, ayan na po siya. So, 4 times 5, that is 20. 4 times 1 fourth, that is 1 cup. And ngayon, magkukonvert tayo kasi ang tanong, how many liquid ounces are there in 1 cup? 
So, so the 20 tablespoons, and according sa problem, 2 tablespoons, 1 liquid ounce. So, you have 1 liquid ounce is to 2 tablespoons. Cancel natin ito. Cancel natin ito. 20 divided by 2. So, therefore, we have what? So, we have 10 ounces. Okay? 10 ounces. So, again, cancel lang ito at saka cancel lang ito. So, wala sa choices yung 10 ounces. So, therefore, ang correct answer dito is none of the above. Okay? None of the above po yung correct answer. Kasi yung correct answer is 10 ounces po siya. Okay? Problem number 9, 3 fourth is to 75% as blank is to 80%. Is it letter A, 3 and 1 fourth? Letter B, 7 over 8? Letter C, 4 fifth? Letter D, 6 over 7? Letter E, 0 0.080? So take note, 3 fourth is to 75 and blank is to 80%. Yung 80% class also equals to 80 over 100. Ito po yung 80%. And yung 80 over 100, it Pag i-divide natin by 10, yung numerator at saka denominator magiging 8 over 10. And then, pwede pa po itong masimplify. I-try natin po divide ito by 2. 8 divided by 2, 10 divided by 2. 8 divided by 2, that is 4. And 10 divided by 2, that is 5. So, therefore, 4 fifth po yung tamang sagot. So, 3 is to 4 is to 75% as 4 fifth is to 80%. Percent. And that is letter, letter C. Okay, so problem number 10. Isa ito sa sinasabi ng karamihan na mahirap na, na question sa mathematics sa civil service exam. So, uh, tignan na natin kung may mga technique naman tayo kung paano siya isolve. So, ito yung problem. Redin is twice as old as his friend Shang. Sham is 5 years older than Kari. So in 5 years, Redin will be 3 times as old as Kari. How old is Sham? Is this letter A, 2 years old? Letter B, 3 years old? Letter C, 4 years old? Letter D, 5 years old? So, uh, paano ba siya sagutan? Ang magandang technique sa pagsagot ng age problem is gumamit tayo ng table. Sa table natin, ilalagay natin yung past, present, at future and involve yung tao sa table natin. So, sa problem na to, ito po yung table na nagawa ko. So, ito yung mga tao na nasa problem, si Redin, si Sham, at si Kari. And yung present ages nila. Ang sabi kasi sa problem, Redin is twice as old as his friend Sham. So, we will let X as the age of Sham kasi yan naman po yung hinahanap sa problem. So, X. Tapos sabi dito, si Redin twice as old as Shem. So therefore, the age of ni Redin is 2x. Sa present po yan siya. And then, in, uh, then Shem is 5 years older than Kari. So mas matanda ng 5 years si Shem. So therefore, uh, since yung age ni Shem at present is x and mas matanda si Shem ng 5 years kay Kari in present. So therefore, sasubtract tayo ng, ng 5 sa age ni Shem. Yun na po yung age ni Kari. Now, sabi sa problem, in 5 years, ayun, in 5 years, so again, yung reference natin is yung age ni Sham, so we will add 5x plus 5. In 5 years, Redin will be 3 times as old as Kari. So since ang sabi sa problem, syempre, ang sabi sa problem is 5 years older si Sham, take note that the difference of ages between two persons hindi po nagbabago. And yung age ni Sham in 5 years is x plus 5, therefore, since mas lamang ng 5 years yung age ni Sham, magsasubtract tayo ng 5 dito. Yan na po yung age ni, ni Kari. And ang sabi sa problem, sa future, in 5 years, Redin is 3 times as old as Kari. Since the age of Kari is X, so therefore, the age of Redin in 5 years is 3X. So yung difference from future and present is 5. So therefore, pwede natin gawin 3X minus 2X equals to 5. So therefore, 3X minus 2X equals to X. And equals to 5. Therefore, the age of Sham is 5 years old. Okay? So, 5 years old po yung sagot. So, ano po yung letter niyan? So, ang letter, ang sagot natin is, yung age of Sham is 5 years old. That is letter, letter D.
Okay, so I hope klaro po yung solution natin. Basta sa each problem, gawa lang po tayo ng table. And then, titignan natin mabuti kung ano yung tinatanong. Yun, yun, yun po yung ilet natin as x. Yun lang po yung te technique usually pagdating sa age problem. Okay? So, last problem for this uh, lecture video. The frequently asked questions, part 1. And it is uh, still age problem. Para mamas meron tayong mastery sa age problem. Dito gagamitan pa rin natin ng table para masolve po natin yung edad ni Peter. Okay, so sabi sa problem, Peter's dad is five times older than Peter. And Peter is twice as old as his sister May. In two years, the sum of the ages is 58. How old is Peter now? Again, Peter's dad is five times older than Peter. And Peter is twice as old as his sister May. In two years, the sum of their ages is 58. How old is Peter now? Is it letter A, 6 years old? B, 7 years old? C, 8 years old? D, 9 years old? So, para result, again, gagamitan natin ng table. Okay, so gagamitan natin ng table. So, ito siya. Ang table natin, yan. So, Peter's dad, yan po si father. And we have Peter and we have May. So, puro future siya. Ang present age nila, Peter's dad is five times older than Peter. So, we will let the, the age of Peter as X. E, yun din man din yung tinatanong. And ang sabi sa problem, if the age of Peter is X, and sabi dito is five times older than Peter si father, Therefore, the age of father at present is 5x. So, 5x. And Peter is twice as old as his sister May. So, two times as the age ni May, yun po yung age ni Peter. Kaya, para makuha natin at present, x divided by 2, yan po yung edad ni May. In two years, so therefore, in two years, mag add ka ng automatic ng 2 sa age ni Peter. Kasi future naman ito. In two years, the sum of their ages is 58. So, mag-add ka ng 2, x plus 2, add ka rin ng 2 dito, x over 2 plus 2, add ka rin ng 2 dito, 5x plus 2. So, in 2 years, the sum of their ages is 58. So, ito yung future, isa-sum up natin ito lahat, dapat mag-equals to sa 58. So, ayan po siya, 5x plus 2, plus x plus 2, plus x over 2 plus 2, equals to 58. So, para masolve natin ito, tatanggalin muna natin itong denominator na 2. Multiply both sides of our equation by 2. Kaya siya 2, multiply here, and 2, multiply to 58. So, 2 times 5, that is 10. You have 10x. 2 times 2, that is 4. 2x, and then uh, 2, 4. Then, multiply 2 times x over 2. x na lang may iwan kasi mag-cancel out naman ito. So, kaya x na lang. And then 2 times 2, that is 4. And 2 times 58, that is 116. And after that, 10x plus 2x plus x, that is 13x. 4 plus 4 plus 4, that is 12. So 116 minus 12, that is 104. So na a1 na lang is 13x equals to 104. So para makuha si x, 104 divided by 13, that is x equals to 8 years old. Okay, so ang sagot dito, how old is Peter now? The age of Peter is 8 years old. Okay? Okay, so ang correct answer dito, how old is Peter now? The age of Peter is 8 years old. So again, nakita natin kung paano natin sinold yung age problem. So wag matakos sa age problem, gawa ka agad ng, ng table. Okay, gawa ng table. Sa table natin, uh, yung columns, past, present, and future. Tandaan sa present, ililet natin always ang x na x, yung, yung tinatanong na age ng isang person. And then, sa bandang uh, rows niya is yung naman yung mga person involved in a problem. So, the correct answer here is letter C, 8 years old. So, okay, so thank you for watching. So, don't forget to click subscribe. And yung next topic natin is the Mathematics Frequently Asked Questions. Frequently Asked Questions in Civil Service Exam Part 2 na naman. So, 
usually, paano ba naglalagay tayo ng topic? Usually, yung mga nire-request ng mga viewers natin. So, pwede kayong mag-send sa akin sa messenger or pwede nyo akong email ng specific problem na gusto nyo ipapa-explain and then i-explain po natin. So, I hope na makatulong po ito sa darating po natin ng mga na civil service exam. Okay? So, again, subscribe and share. So, again, thank you and have a nice day.